got a comment the other day from a man. He said, you had more muscle on meat. You should eat more meat. <laughs> That's some fine detective work over there. Brooklyn's finest. I'm glad they sent you. Glad you're on the scene. It's because you're vegan now. You don't get Kalhof 9 or 11. Vegans think they can convert Kalhof 6 into 11. It's a joke. You're a joke. I've lost about 15 pounds in the past month, and it might... I'm just brainstorming here. It might have something to do with the fact that I've been sprinting to the bathroom on gout cankles 20 times a day shitting blood each time it might have something to do with the weight loss I just can't really put my finger on it there's just so many factors you don't really know how to pinpoint it it's like how much did the losing all my food into a bloody pile of hopelessness in the toilet play into it all but probably a very smile smileage smileage vegan brain warfare is upon us my friend Usually when you eat food, you absorb it, release some of it. I release all of it, and then some, and blood, on gout cankles, by the way. But thankfully the bleeding has stopped, things are calming down, flare-up is ending, gout cankles no longer a problem, and I feel good enough, I can walk around this earth, flat or triangular, and we can work out now. So we will test ourselves. I write down every rep of every workout, haven't worked out in about a month, I believe. Put the dates right there. Let's see if I can match my reps. See how weak I am on this super vegan diet. No oysters allowed here. Certainly no sardines ever. You're all you ever had to be. You're all you ever had to be. Take control of your life, you can't be mad at me. So before this flare up in my world came crashing to a halt, thankfully, I was on the monkey strength program and those gains last forever you can't lose monkey strength gains once they're gained they don't melt away like other muscular programs bodybuilding for example bodybuilders are hairy and they have snot that's what we know for sure so i'm curious to see if i can match my reps i highly doubt it but we'll start with the endurance day which basically we just slide back to the fifth dimension just the basics Regular push-ups, two-handed, regular squats, two-legged. Everything's simple, just endurance, do some reps. Let's see where we're at, monkey boy. Stray Ridge, I found you dinner. If you want me to save it, I'll put it on a side plate. You can just have that. There's flies, by the time you get here, they'll lay maggots, that's dessert. Maggots are dessert.
vegan body couldn't handle that workout. It's going to take me three weeks to replenish myself with spinach and raspberries. Help me. Help me. So I've lost about 15 pounds in this past month due to not only the colitis flare-up and just evacuations at the town hall in my cone's left hemisphere, but also the gout attack, which rendered me a useless baby, just dependent on my mom. For a bit, I couldn't do anything. She was making me all my meals. The only thing I could do was crutch my crippled ass over to the bathroom and just hope. I was praying like, please don't have to go to the bathroom. This takes too much. I can't. So obviously pooing like a racehorse and not walking like a 90 year old man is a combination that's not going to build the ideal body composition, but we take it in stride. I wasn't able to work out. My last workout was June 12th and then I just stopped. I was like, okay, I can't even walk. Let's take a break, asshole. And now we're at July 6th. So we're almost a month later, no workouts and still I have the body of a thunder wolf moose hawk i'll actually do a little before and after my peak is a carnivore versus now withered away just illness everywhere vegan body viruses point of this video really is to just say people are too shallow like that's all they thought about i'm dying here bleeding out just barely keeping my life together and like oh you looked better as a carnivore that is shameful you look so much better back then how come you don't look as good now it's embarrassing. Have you seen a mirror? I wouldn't get one. Don't buy it. You'll be disappointed. <laughs> I'm sitting over here in a deep depression, just pain everywhere. I'm contemplating life like, what have I done? I'm a health channel. I'm so unhealthy. How? I'm, I'm less healthy than a fast food addict. How did this happen to me? I'm the laughing stock. <laughs> and people are just like, your biceps, bro. That's at least half an inch gone. That's pathetic. So obviously I lost some strength not working out for 30 days and barely being able to absorb any food. But my workout, surprisingly, I was able to keep up. Although, admittedly, I'm 15 pounds less. So like a handstand push up with 15 less pounds and I still wasn't able to match my reps. I'm definitely weaker. I'm a schoolgirl, schoolgirl fruit boy, but it's like a manly in a manly way. It's like feminizing, but like an alpha, alpha feminine male, alpha feminized. It's good. I like it. But just quickly looking at the reps, I was able to match my squats, calf raises. I felt like I could have went forever. It feels like the endurance. I have more endurance now, maybe because of the carbohydrate metabolism kicking in instead of running off of donkey fat. So that could help. Thunder Monkey push-ups, I got two more, but less poundage here to lift, so understandably so. The only area I was really weaker in was the pull-ups. I got 10 last week, last month, and then seven this time. So I'm weaker and I'm, there's less to pull. So it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing to be me, but I push on. And the handstand push-ups, I was getting 11 before, only seven this time. So I definitely lost some strength, but when we look in the mirror, in the mirror of life, I'm loving my body now. I'm shredded as F. I'm just like, holy shit. Like, I just laugh when people insult my body. Oh, you're a fruit boy now. It's like, good. I hope I keep this up. I don't even care about gaining more. Look at my fat donkey ass carnivore compared to me, fruit boy shredded. It's like, oh no, I lost size. Whatever will I do? Oh no, I don't look so fat and bloated. Oh, help. So I absolutely love the way my body is right now. It just, it looks good. It feels good. It feels good to be light. And it just, it's designed for my calisthenics work. I'm working towards that one arm pull up. You think I could do that as a 155 pound carny? Carney with blubber fat in his bum? How are you going to do that? So if I can work towards getting super strong and stay lean, dare we dream, dare we dream it. So this has been my battle, trying to build muscle while also healing this colon. So stupid. I just, I wish I could fully heal everything. It's like, we're all good, no inflammation. Now let's work out and then we build. So we'll try it, but 
this wonky colon and that mesh. I like the mesh. I highly recommend them. They're good. They stab you. They keep you present, present mind. I love it. So we'll see. I'm still basically vegan. I only tried the oysters one time and then like a week later I tried two tins of sardines as a meal with veggies and I got super tired after it and I don't know that I will incorporate that kind of thing, fish or whatever. I kind of like the vegan thing, but I do not want to be deficient. I just, I have to, I feel like I need some sort of DHA and B12. I haven't, I ordered a B12, but it hasn't come yet. So it's like, I need something in the meantime to hold me over before I get a neurological disorder. Why do you want that for me? But we'll see, I'm probably on 30 to 40 grams of protein a day total. Like I just eat fruit and vegetables basically and potatoes, a bit of starch. I'm having some white rice now to try to keep the fiber down because pooing like seven times a day, well fun. Feels like a lot of work. But I do feel like this is one area in life where men especially mess up and they want to build too much muscle and they eat too much protein and their digestion goes all honky haywire. Don't do it, my friend. Fruit is your friend for the gut. Nothing better than fruit. Try eating nothing but fruit. You're complaining about bloating and gas. It's your fruit running into your dinner meal and then you get gassy. It ain't the fruit's fault. It's your potatoes and broccoli. So we push on. I do not feel amazing at all. I'd be lying if I said I did. I'm tired a lot, but digestion is healing. Gout cankles almost fully healed. Things are moving in the right direction at least. And then we'll see if we can get this energy level up. I'll do a whole separate video on that. I'm testing my blood sugar again after the fruit meals. And I have a theory that this whole, my energy has nothing to do with burning fat or burning carbs. I've been in fat burning mode and the whole time in carnivore. That's not why I was tired because I wasn't fat adapted. I was fat adapted out the yin yang. It had nothing to do with that. So we'll explore that in another video. Thank you for watching this one and thumbing it up, of course, if you liked it. My wrist cracked. It's not vegan arthritis, it's just the oxalates. That's fine. Thumbs down. If you're eating an oxalate sandwich right now, you got beets, Swiss chard, some celery sticks in there, and you, you make a bread with gluten and eggs, vegan eggs, you dip it in beet juice. You fry it in canola oil. That's bound to be healthy. Just do that. Report back the results. I'm curious. I might try it. So, we're done. Thank you for buying a black text version. Vegetable food. I, I can't hold myself up. That, no, it's not the vegan diet. It's... It was the angle of it. I could have, if I had the leverage, it wasn't that I lack protein. 40 grams a day, that's plenty. You want like 0. 0.2 grams per pound. That's the ideal. So, we're done. Thank you so much for watching the video. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you next time.